chose a book with a very long title. And every way home has a way... Wait, what? Why is this so long? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a super exciting announcement. So without further ado, let us get started. The super exciting announcement is that I am going to be one of four hosts for a readathon coming up called Cramathon. You guys have probably heard of Cramathon from Whitney over at Witty Novels. They are unable to host this year, so they gave it over to Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5, and he asked me and two other booktubers to help him out. I will also be hosting with Julia from Julia Sapphire and Allie from Hardback Hoarders, who I adore. I'm so excited to be working with all three of them. They're just like three of the best people ever. You probably don't care about that. You probably want to know details. This readathon is going to be from December 26th to January 2nd. We decided to have it after Christmas this year because we want everybody to be able to participate and usually during Christmas or holiday times there's a lot going on with family and friends and whatnot so we want as many people to be able to participate as possible so those are the dates that we chose. There are a total of seven challenges that you guys can try to complete while reading during the readathon. Obviously you can just pick whatever you want, but you know, challenges are fun. The first challenge that we chose is to read a book under 200 pages. Basically the whole point of this readathon is to have it at the end of the year and to cram as many books as possible to meet your Goodreads goal. So we figured having a book under 200 pages would be a great way to do this. The next challenge that we chose was to pick a book with LGBTQIA plus elements in it. The third challenge we chose is to pick your shortest book on your TBR. Number four is choose a book with your favorite color on the cover. Number five is to choose a book that was gifted to you. Since it is right after the holidays and we are all bookworms, we kind of assumed you're probably going to receive a book for the holidays. So what better time to read it than now? The sixth challenge we chose is to read one of the host's favorite short books or to read a recommendation that a friend gave you. We have four books because we have four hosts. Julia picked The Grown Ups by Gillian Flynn which has a total of 64 pages. Dylan chose Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott and this has 169 pages. Allie chose And Every Morning The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman and this has a total of 96 pages. And then I chose George by Alex Gino which has a total of 195 pages. You can choose any of those books or a book that a friend recommends to you if you don't like any of our options. And then our final challenge is to just read seven books. So basically it's a freebie for you. When we get closer to the date of the actual readathon, all the hosts will be posting their TBRs. We'll also be posting a Twitter sprint schedule closer to the date of the readathon. So if you want to follow us on Twitter at Cramathon, then go ahead and do that for updates on this readathon. Follow all of the hosts because, you know, they're great and I love them. I'll leave all their links down below if you want to check them out. I highly recommend checking them out because they are great. Alright guys, so that is the video for today. Cramathon announcement. I really hope that you join us December 26th to January 2nd. Mark it on your calendars and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.